Welcome back to another video. My name is Angie and this is Angie's Art and Crafty Creations. Today I am going to work on a little pom-pom keychain for my granddaughter Kehlani. She's doing competition cheer. And so this is an acrylic blank that I got from the vinyl warehouse. And I'm going to take my 80 grit sandpaper here and scrape up the surface so that the um, UV resin has something to adhere to. Right here is better to it, the scratched up surface. I'm going to take some isopropyl alcohol, clean this off. Wipe off any extra residues that's on there. And then we're going to take this emerald from the glitter guy and my UV resin from Resin Rockers. And I'm going to mix up the glitter with the resin. This green is nearly an exact match to her cheer team's colors. She's, she's part of Sonic Elite in Washington State. Yes. <laughs> and so then uh, once I'm done with this, I am going to, mixing it up, I'm going to pour it on the center and we'll use a little silicone tool to spread it around. And I didn't mix up quite enough, so I mixed up some more and made it a little darker. And I'm just pushing everything off to the edge, gonna pop any air bubbles, and then we're gonna cure it and move on to the other side of it, I do believe. And then you can see I'm clearing out or uh, hardening the container as well there with the light for easier cleanup. So I'm just going to remove the back side of this. Get that off of there. I do sand that side as well. I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to do. Then I'm going to use this black acrylic paint. Put a little daub on the middle there and just spread that out. Putting the black on this side is going to make uh, the green stand out better in my thoughts. <laughs> so just get that all painted up nice and evenly. I'm going to use my little my uh, heat gun to dry the paint. Get it done a little quicker. And then we're going to use the hollow from the glitter doctor. Mix this with some of the UV resin. Just the same as the green. Get some put in there. Put a little more in there this time because the last time I shorted the green. So there's how pretty the black is. Dump some of that in there, get it mixed up. I wanted to make sure I wasn't gonna be able to see through, I guess, I don't know. The, <laughs> not sure what my process, thought process was on that, but I'm just gonna get that mixed up. And apply it onto the back side of the pom-pom. I'm gonna, I will have everything that I use linked in the description box below as usual. And again, I'm just gonna go ahead and use the silicone tool to spread that out, pop any air bubbles, and 
cure it with my light. I want to say thank you. So, oh. So there's both sides of it. And I'm just going to put a clear coat on the back side. Use this silicone tool to spread it. Use a little white one there to get all to the all of the edges. And then I'm going to cure it and we'll move on to the other side. So again, I just wanted to say thank you for stopping by and watching my video today. I hope you have enjoyed or are enjoying watching this. Something different, something simple. Actually, it wasn't real simple, but I struggled with the, the hardware of this. But anyway, so um, if you are a current subscriber, thank you so much. If you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing. And don't forget to give me a thumbs up and leave a comment if you like. Share my video if you would like to. Okay, so that side's all ready to go. We're going to apply her name now, Kehlani. Try to get it as centered with the pom-pom as possible. And move that back in off of it. Enough. Cut that off. Slap it down. Remove the other side of it. And there we go. Use my squeegee to get it applied a little better. And there are three layers, and you can see the little holes of the A's didn't cut because this was pretty small. So to fix that, I'm going to use this black Sharpie and just draw some little arrows or little dots in the A's. There's one. I'll do the other one. And there we go. Cute as can be. Okay, so then I'm going to press it down. Make sure because there's three layers of vinyl here. I'm going to clear coat it. I'm going to use this little makeup applicator. All right, and then again, I'm going to use a little silicone tool, use my light, get it cured, and move on to the next step, which would be cleaning any over spill off of the edges and then I'm going to use this Arteza acrylic marker in silver to color the edges. I'm going to press it down there and make sure it's coming out right and then just go along the whole outer edge of the bump pom. Now there's some little spots that I couldn't get into with this pen and here I'm going to use a little tiny paintbrush. So I put some of the marker pen, not marker pen, the acrylic marker on paint onto some parchment paper and going over and getting all the little pieces in between that I missed or was unable to get. And then we'll be ready to move on with the hardware of it. Just checking it out, making sure I got it all. Very cute. Okay, so I have these little pom-poms that I got off of Amazon like, I don't know, a year and a half ago or so. So I'm going to use that. And I'm going to use this little heart charm here that I purchased. Um, I forget where, but a long time, well, let's see, in 2014, maybe? 20, no, wait, 2016, when my daughter got married. They were uh, on some bubbles for her wedding. Um, but, and so I'm going to, I think I have a jump ring that I put on 
the pom-pom. I'm going to attach this chain. I do believe that's a chain. Get that attached on there. So yes, yeah, so I have, of course it's the chain. <laughs> This I struggle with, and this was such a pain in the tuchus, Um trying to get that jump ring, that little tiny thing on. I don't know what I was thinking. I probably should have tried something else, but after several attempts, I changed my hardware up and I, <laughs> my tools, and I finally get it on. <clears throat> But it was a struggle. It kept dropping, kept dropping. <laughs> it's quite comical, actually. It, it gave me a run for my money, that's for sure. But here's where I got tired and fed up and pulled out my mom's handy-dandy jewel tool um, kit. Jewel school tool kit. And I used some scooper thing that had a pointy tip at the other end of it. And I don't think I showed because I wanted to cut out some of the unnecessary stuff. Getting it on there was the goal. <laughs> it definitely did give me zen. So there is my mom's kit. And there we have it. I got it on there. And I'm going to put the little lobster claw clasp on there. That I believe I got from Timu. Like I said earlier, I will have everything that I've used linked in the description box below. And now we are going to do the beads. So I decided how I wanted to have it done or how I wanted to do it. I'm using this little stretchy string and these little beads and putting the both ends through the one bead after I looped it through the pom-pom, um, one end of the string. I hope I'm making sense <laughs> and not just rambling here. But so yeah, so I'm gonna apply these little beads to both ends, both sides of the elastic. I put probably maybe eight or nine of them on there. And then I'm gonna take another little tiny jump ring and put that on there. And then I'm gonna take those both ends and go through each of the beads that I already went through so that that little bead will uh, be an anchor point, which was what I will hang this on the keychain from. So I do move my fingers out of the way, sorry about that. And right there, you'll see the little jump ring. So I'm gonna stretch the string like tights so that there's more room to be able to fit through the little hole. <laughs> Get both of them through there. This too took me a little bit of time. Not nearly as long as that little jump ring though, I'll tell you. Woo. <laughs> okay, so go ahead and get those both through there. Get my finger out of the way. And then I'll continue to feed those two pieces through the beads. So I think I go through like three or four of them and then I'll tie it off, which you'll see, I do believe. I left that in. I tell you, making these videos is easy. Trying to edit them, that's the struggle for me. Because <laughs> I don't want it to go too fast, but I don't want it to go too slow. So you get bored, and then too fast you can't tell what I'm doing. <laughs> so. Anywho's, get these through those beads, two or three I believe, and then I'm going to tie, 
Oh, there we go. I'm going to tie it around it. Tie a little knot. Flip it over. Nope, not yet. Flip, tie another little knot in there. Tie a few knots in there. And then I go through. That's what I do. And then go through a couple more of the beads. And then I'll tie it off again. And once I'm satisfied and think that I got it sturdy enough, I will snip the ends of the elastic and pull it tight and then you see nothing but the beads. So to attach these, I'll then get some split rings, I do believe is what they're called, to attach that, trying to figure out how I want to do it. I was going to test stuff before you do it. So you, with these little split rings, you take pliers on both sides of where they separate, and you twist them sideways. And you put it through where you want it to go on the one, and then put it through where you want it to go on the other so that they're both hanging. And then you take your pliers again with both sides and you just push them back together. And this is it. Isn't she beautiful? Love her. My granddaughter loves her. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good day, have a good night, whatever it may be for you, and I'll see you in my next video. Take care.